Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow triangle uh, ABC and this uh, circle with the center all uh, put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, one of the sides of this uh, yellow triangle is uh, same as the diameter of this uh, circle and moreover this uh, secant uh, length uh, AC is 18 units and this uh, code uh, BD is uh, 7 units and furthermore the area of this uh, circle has been given to us as uh, 73 pi unit square and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle uh, ABC please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step we have been given the area of this circle as uh, 73 times pi and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equal to pi r square where r is the radius uh, of this uh, circle and our circle area has been given to us uh, as 73 pi so i'm going to fill in the blanks so 73 times uh, pi equal to pi times uh, r square let's divide both sides by pi to solve for radius r and here we can see pi and pi is gone and this pi and pi is gone so r square equal to 73 and now i'm going to undo this square by taking square root uh, on both uh, sides and here we can see square and square root are gone so our radius uh, r turns out to be square root of uh, 73 and since we are interested in this uh, whole uh, diameter ab so this is going to be 2 times radius r so therefore our diameter ab length is going to be 2 times radius uh, is uh, square root of uh, 73 so therefore our this uh, diameter ab length uh, turns out to be 2 times uh, square root of uh, 73 and here's our next step i am going to connect these points a and d as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem according to this theorem if uh, a b and d are uh, three distinct uh, points on a circle where the line a b is the diameter then the angle uh, a d b is going to be a right angle in other words it's going to be a 90 degree angle as you can see in this uh, given diagram we got these uh, points a b and uh, d on the circle and a b is the diameter of the circle then this uh, angle uh, a d b is going to be a 90 degree angle and as a result we get these uh, two right triangles one is uh, a d b and the other right triangle is uh, a d c since this angle is 90 degrees uh, as well and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, adb and we are going to use the pythagorean theorem on this triangle and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, our hypotenuse is 2 times the square root of uh, 73 and our two other legs are uh, 7 and this uh, side uh, ad let me label this uh, side AD as uh, lowercase x. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x uh, square plus uh, 7 square equal to 2 times the square root of uh, 73 whole square. And now let's focus on this uh, right hand side. We know 2 square is 4 and then uh, this square root is uh, gone so this is going to be 73 4 times 73 is going to give us uh, 292 so therefore we are going to have x square plus uh, 49 equals to 292 and now i am going to subtract 49 from both uh, sides and here we can see this 49 negative 49 is gone so x square turns out to be equal to 243 let me undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides and here we can see 
this square and square root onto each other. So x turns out to be, if we simplify this one, that is going to give us uh, 9 times uh, square root of uh, 3. So therefore, our this uh, x value turns out to be 9 times uh, square root of uh, 3 units. In other words, our this uh, AD length uh, is 9 times square root of 3. And now let's focus on this uh, other right triangle uh, ADC. And I'm going to label uh, this segment uh, CD as uh, Y. And now we are going to apply Pythagorean theorem on this right triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, 18. And our other two legs are uh, y and 9 times uh, square root of 3. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, y square uh, plus uh, 9 times uh, square root of 3 whole uh, square equal to 18 uh, square. And now we are going to simplify. We got y square and this is going to give us uh, 243 equal to 18 square is 324. I'm going to subtract 243 from uh, both uh, sides and here we can see this uh, 243 and negative 243 they are uh, gone so therefore uh, y square turns out to be equal to 81. I'm going to undo this square by taking the square root on both uh, sides and here we can see square and square root onto each other so therefore our y value turns out to be positive uh, 9 uh, units so therefore our this uh, y value turns out to be 9 units which is uh, this uh, segment length uh, cd and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, segment cd is uh, 9 and this other uh, called uh, bd is uh, 7 units so therefore this whole uh, secant uh, bc is going to become 7 plus 9 if we add them that is going to give us uh, 16 units and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, triangle uh, abc and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to half times uh, base uh, times the height and uh, the base uh, of this uh, yellow triangle, uh, this one is uh, 16 uh, units. And the height uh, AD of this uh, yellow triangle is 9 times uh, square root of 3 units. So therefore, the area of this uh, yellow triangle ABC is going to be a half uh, times uh, our base uh, is uh, 16 times our height is uh, 9 times uh, square root of uh, 3. And now we can see this uh, 1 divided by 2 times 16 is going to give us uh, 8. And 8 times 9 is going to give us 72 times uh, square root of uh, 3. So therefore the area of this uh, yellow triangle is going to be 72 times uh, square root of uh, 3 square units. So thus the area of this uh, yellow triangle turns out to be 72 times uh, square root of 3 square units. And that is going to be approximately equal to 124.71 square units as well. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.